I have some exciting storybooks to show you today. This one is called The Biggest Story, and this is about an adorable child named Errol. You can see him with his glasses there. And Errol's mom is going to tell him a story, but then she gets interrupted. There's an issue that she has to attend to, so Errol has to come up with his own story. And so this aunt begins to talk to him and suggest that he should be in the story. And then there are other animals that begin to appear and talk to him and make suggestions about his story. And it's got this adorable plot. And then at the end, he tells the story to his mom. So I think it's important for us to uh, really Think about what storybooks we have in our home. Do we have uh, stories that are representative of kids that come from different cultures, kids um, with disabilities, um, and just with different perspectives? So uh, it's really important to, to have a variety of kinds of storybooks and to make sure that we actually have storybooks that we're reading um, with uh, exciting plots to them, and so kids are exploring books on their own and then we're also having conversations about books with the kids. Okay, this one is called Best Behavior and it's got a very cute little uh, sing-songy uh, tone to the text. When you get up in the morning at the start of a brand new day, get washed and brush your teeth carefully and your bright smile will light up your way. Getting dressed can sometimes be tricky. All those buttons can be such a pain. Don't get in a tangle with laces and remember to comb your wild mane. And then it goes on through the different routines. Um, even the hungriest hippo has a difficult lesson to learn. It's no use being impatient. Stand in line and wait for your turn. So this is uh, a book that in a positive way goes through some expectations for behavior that we would like to see during different routines and it's perfect for preschool. Okay, now this book might look familiar to some of you who have the book called Dragon Post. So this is great for preschool, kindergarten, early elementary. It's extremely interesting because it's about an adorable character uh, here's the beast and it's similar to the dragon post by the same author because it's got these little letters throughout um, that you pull out and read and they really add to the plot um, so this is definitely one that is going to be an absolute bestseller and one that you're going to want in your home